So the first thing I recommend you do is actually creating a restore point. This is super easy. Just type in restore point inside of your search bar. This window is going to come up, click create, give it a name, and then click OK. The first in-game optimization that we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the in-game settings under the gameplay tab, and we're going to make sure that client send rate, server send rate, and bandwidth limit are all set to high. This is going to make sure that your game is sending the most possible information across your internet to the servers so you can get a responsive game. The next thing we're going to be doing is going into the video settings and we're going to be looking under resolution and we're going to set this to 1920 by 1080. This is for most of you going to be your native resolution. Display mode is going to be set to full screen for the smallest amount of input delay. Vertical sync off. Anti-aliasing is going to be set to off. Render quality is going to be set to high quality. The lower you put this, your game is going to dramatically look worse. So I just like setting this to high quality no matter what because it can sometimes be hard to actually see the ball when you set this lower. Render detail however doesn't matter as much so we're going to set that to performance. Your FPS slider here, if possible, is going to be set to 250, you're going to completely max that out. On the right, you're going to have texture detail, world detail, particle detail, all set on performance. This is most likely going to auto set. You're going to make sure everything is unchecked on the right hand side except for transparent goal posts, and you're going to hit apply. Once everything's applied, you can just back out. Next up, we're going to be allowing your CPU to use majority of its resources on Rocket League. We can do this by hitting Control shift escape to bring up our task manager. Once we're inside of our task manager, click on Rocket League and then click on go to more details. When you do this, it's going to take you a different page. Right click on the highlighted icon, go to set priority and change that to high. Right click on it again. This time go to set affinity. Make sure every single checkbox here is highlighted except for CPU zero. Unchecking CPU zero is your main CPU core that handles windows most of the time. So unchecking this one allows it to not cause stutters in your game. Having Rocket League set to high priority for your CPU is great, but it doesn't matter unless Rocket League is high priority in windows as well. So we're going to do this by typing in graphic settings in the search bar. We're going to be going over to the browse button. We're going to be navigating to the drive that you have Rocket League installed on. For me, that's going to be my operating system. Then you're going to be going to program files. You're going to go to Epic Games, Rocket League, Binaries, Win64, and then you're going to click on Rocket League, hit add. After that's done, click on the option settings where Rocket League was added to. Click on high performance and then save. Background apps take up a lot of hardware resources that you really need to be using just for your game. So in order to disable these, you're going to be searching up in the taskbar background settings. This is going to open up the settings for background apps and just in the top, you're just going to disable background apps, set it to off, and this will stop allowing windows to use any background apps while you're playing your games. The next thing you do is open up task manager again, control shift escape. And you're going to go into the startup tab and disable anything that you don't use right away on your computer that says enabled. We're going to go over our power options so that we can tell our computer that we want it to use the most power it can all of the time. We're going to do this by going to the power and sleep settings, search that up in the search bar. On the right hand side, you're going to see additional power options. You're going to click show additional plans. And if you are an AMD, you're going to want to click AMD Ryzen high performance. If you're on Intel, you're going to want to hit ultimate performance if you have that option. Everybody that uses Discord inside of the background, go over to the cog wheel inside of it. Go over to the appearance tab and scroll all the way down until you hit hardware acceleration. For anybody on a mid to high end gaming PC, you're going to want to check this off because sometimes this can cause stuttering. For those of you on a low end PC, having this off can sometimes leave Discord struggling for any resources causing your PC to stutter. So when you turn this on, it balances it out, giving you an even FPS in game. The next optimization I have for you guys is the most important one in this entire video for people on low end PCs. This is going to be the ISLC cleaner. What this is going to do is this is going to clear up the background pool of memory on your system and especially those of you with lower end laptops, this is going to make a big difference because you already don't have that much RAM to spare. Let's go ahead and set this up on your computer by going to the link in the description labeled ISLC. When you get to this page, you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you hit this download button right here. 
and you're going to download the file. Drag the downloaded file onto your desktop and you're going to want to click it. It's going to ask you to extract and inside of this folder, you're going to find the top application intelligent standby list cleaner. You're going to want to right click this, create a shortcut and drag the shortcut to your desktop for permanent use. When you open this up, there's going to be quite a few options. The first thing you want to know is the two numbers on the left. You're going to want to keep the top one on 1024 default, but you're going to want to put the second one on the bottom to half of your system memory. That number can be found in the top left. So you're going to take that number, divide it by two, and then you're going to put the number that comes out into the bottom option. For me, mine is going to be 8,157. Make sure you don't put any commas or dots in there, just a straight number. You're going to want to click the launch ISLC on startup button. You're going to set the polling rate to 1000 for mid to high end PCs and 500 for low end PCs. This custom timer resolution you're going to put to 0.50. This is going to actually reduce input delay inside of your PC. Do not close this application with the X, make sure you only minimize it. Since you made it to the end of the video, I'm going to recommend you hit the video in the top left hand side of the screen. This is going to be super similar to the one you just watched and it's going to help you get FPS in another game that you're going to like. If this helped you get more FPS in Rocket League, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys in the next video.